So some of the gymnastic stuff, basically it's some TRX stuff, or whatever we want to call it, body weight control. You know, whether we're using the bar uh, up high or the TRX, same concept that I didn't cover this in the pull. There's a pull, a, a horizontal pull would be this, a vertical pull would be a pull up, like this. And it's the same concept, external rotation, whether our hands are facing this way or this way, external rotation. With the TRX, if we line up properly or directly under it, we can do a vertical pull. We can assist with one foot. There's that external rotation, a little bit of horizontal with it. Okay. And then for the advanced versions, the L's, you know, where we're actually lifting the legs up. Not everyone will get anywhere near that. You might, it might even be like this, we're using one leg to assist. But variations of these L's, where the shoulder is set and stable, it might be a sit like this. But the key is to set that L position, pull shoulders back. And the same with the dips. Not everyone can do a full dip, but a body weight dip where we're assisting with the legs. You know, again, using assistance of the legs. So we'll have to figure out where we want to put these in here if we want to put dips in there. But again, there's a place for them if done correctly. Small dips. Even on the floor using two, uh, two dumbbells, I'll demonstrate without anything, or, or two medicine balls, pushing an external rotation. Just visualize if I had two medicine balls, you know, I'd be pushing like this off the floor like this. Oh, here's one. We're going to kick one over. So the dips have a place with gymnastics, of course, the pommel horse and all those. So even right here, short dips. Shoulders actually are rotated. Bump. And that can lead into bump. Bump, and of course, the advanced versions for, you know, some of the stronger guys. But and women, but just even this, gymnastic pose. And of course, push-ups falls into gymnastics as well, um, falls into it, but I think those are the basics that we'll teach. We might teach a couple pikes. We don't want to get into sit-ups too much, but obviously we're gonna use the crunch once in a while, rounding up, stabilizing. We don't want to do too much of this because the margin of safety goes way down. You can see I'm rounded, but we might occasionally use pikes where, you know, some of you might need neck support, but a pipe where the legs are up, the chest is accentuated, so we might use some pikes down the road. And we'll decide what we want to put this in the fundamental class where everyone can experience a pike. Something that we can talk about later. Um, any other gymna uh, types of calisthenic moves you can pick up? Side planks maybe we should cover. The basics of a side plank. Top leg forward, stable with the elbow, advanced version. Hand down, shifting, shifting the hips forward, squeezing again, setting, glutes tight, abs tight to press the elbow up. Teach the basics of the side plank, which we'll use in the gymnastics setting quite a bit. And down. And I'm sure we'll come up with more and eliminate some of this. I'll think about more of this last part, but that covers a lot. <laughs>